few years ago I made this folding work table and it's worked out real good for me. But now I needed something to go between my two Adirondack chairs. I wanted a small table. So I figured I'd just make a small version of that folding table. And this is what I came up with. <laughs> My version of the small table. Lightweight. Carry it around. Solid. So let's go see how we made this. Well, I'm going to start by trimming down some scrap 2x4s and 2x6s that I had. And then next up, a little bit of sanding. Well, with all the material now that I have cut down for the arms and legs, i um, cut them down to size now. What I did was made a couple templates. This will be for the leg and the arms. I need four of each of these. Alright, let's cut these down now to the finished size. I'll start doing the 60 degree cut on each of the bottom of the legs. We'll put the 30 degree cut on the tops of the legs. Well, next up, I need to make a 30 degree cut on the arms. And to do that, just have a piece of straight board and with double tape, double sided tape, I put the piece of material down and we're going to cut it right at the edge of the blade to get our 30 degrees. Well, next up, I need to drill three quarter inch hole in each of the pieces. And to do that, I just made a little jig here to hold it 
so I get consistent placement. So let's do that. Now for the legs, we have to drill a second hole nine and a quarter inches from the top. So I got the jig set up for that and we'll do that. Well, here's the pieces laid out and we also need this three-quarter inch dowel that'll be the uh, pivot points on all these pieces and this is basically where they'll be laid out in those holes in those holes <laughs> so let's start by putting in the dowels in the lower pieces so we have the one dowel going into the two legs and we need to anchor those dowels by a screw in this one leg. So we'll pre-drill that. And I'm using a countersink. We'll put dowels in the spots too to cover up the screws. And I'm using one and a quarter inch screws. And we want to do the same on this side. Now we'll put the dowel in for the handle part. That'll pivot the top of the table. And that goes in to the two innermost pieces of wood. The one arm on each side and one leg on each side. and just leave a little bit of space for it to be able to pivot. And again, we'll draw a pilot hole in there. The same thing on this side. And for the, the final two dowels, go on the ends. Now for the top. Now the top, top will go five and a half inches from the top of the, and I've pre-drilled these, and I'm going to use inch and a half screws 
to hold the tabletop down. And one last thing to put on this site is a support bar. And this is roughly half an inch space between the top of the table and the support bar. Well that does it for that side. Now for the second side, all we need is the top of the table. And finally the leg bracket, which again gets attached to the outmost leg. All right, shall we see if it works? Oh, look at that. How about that? It's always nice when a plan comes together. I'll plug the screw holes up now, put another coat of paint on it, then I'll put some co couple coats of polyurethane and we'll put it outside to use. Well thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next project.